Now to a story that is positively Colorado. It's already challenging enough to get into the U.S. Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. Only 14% of the approximate 10,000 people who apply every year get accepted. Now one cadet is standing out among the best of the best. He's now been named a Rhodes Scholar and will head to the University of Oxford in the UK once he graduates this summer. I talked to him about the extraordinary accomplishment, his family's influence, and how one leader at the academy knew he was going to be a Rhodes Scholar from the moment she met him. I was told uh, by about this mythical cadet who was amazing in class. That mythical cadet is Jamie Landy. His impact here is one of leadership, of exceptional intellect and capability, um, but more than that, of service and of making everyone around him better. Colonel Miriam Krieger is the head of the political science department at the Air Force Academy. Jamie came to us um, and declared this major uh, as a sophomore, and he was already doing research. He was already co-authoring uh, papers with faculty members. She said she immediately knew he was going to be a Rhodes Scholar. He has the intellectual capacity, the passion and desire to serve, the leadership ability, the athletic prowess, and more than that, that, that je ne sais quoi, that the Rhodes Scholarship is looking for, for people who are going to change the world. Changing the world, a value Landy quickly credits his parents for inspiring. My mom was a school social worker in DC public schools. Then she's now an anti-poverty advocate for doing policy in D.C. And my dad has been working in the international development community for the past 30 years. His father's career took them around the world. I would see counterparts, 12-year-old uh, kids picking up trash and doing trash collecting jobs and working on the streets. That, to me, that stark difference, that was this moment where I went, why is this the case? What arbitrary kind of aspects of our lives have led us each to these two different places. For Landy, one of those places was the Air Force Academy. In just his first year, he was quickly influenced by another cadet, Aramis Brown, also a Rhodes Scholar. There was one day where I was running on the strips doing, it's what freshmen do here, where we, when we're outside, we run on the, these strips with kind of, you know, straight faced and not a social event, not a social hour, just pretty serious. So all of a sudden, he started running next to me. And he was this junior, and they don't need to run on the strips. And he, was the, he had plenty of bars, like plenty of rank on. Um, and he started running next to me and just talking to me, like, hey, how's your day going? Uh, you know, how are you feeling? This is someone who showed just out of nowhere this really meaningful act of kindness towards me. And I want to be around people like that. Now he will. He's one of only 102 students in the world awarded the Rhodes Scholarship every year. 24 hours after my interview, I found out that I got the scholarship and it was, it was this surreal moment where I was like, I guess I'm in this community that Aramis Brown was in where, you know, these, these are good people. I'm excited to be around these people. We're excited for you. Landy will pursue a master's degree in international relations. He hopes to be an intelligence officer when he comes back from Oxford. He wants to work with U.S. Southern Command in Central and South America. Cadet Landy, we will be cheering you on. Rob. Absolutely.